Hi friends, I am speaking with friend Prabhakaran now. In this video, I am telling about how to get the row index. So, when you are selecting the data grid view row, that time you want to know uh, count of row number. You need means uh, just when you are clicking this row, the time that row index the number uh, get from data grid view to uh, the label. Okay, so how to get the row index number? Okay. The row index number how to get from data grid view when I'm selecting this data. So I'm going to tell about that concept. Okay, this is my data entry project uh, for to you. I have already uh, declared this project. So many concepts also I'm told to you in this data entry project. Okay, this is my data entry project. Okay, now I'm going to tell about that uh, row index concept of the data grid view. Okay, so first I'm going to um declare that uh, selected mode okay so first of all i'm going to close it the not i'm told to you first i'm going to the form on design in this place having the data entry project data grid view so now i am going to click this data grid view so now I select this data grid view. Here I having the property windows. Uh, so that property window of data grid view available here. Now in this place I having that key down event. Okay. So I am go to the uh, key down event. This time I extract it. go to click that row index and then row it there selection mode sorry having in this place event ok so I am go to the event in this place having that uh, key down so go to a uh, key down available so in this place now I'm go to um, in this place I'm declaring double click this key down. Okay, the data grid view key down created that code mode. Okay, in this C sharp code mode. Okay, now in this data grid view the data grid view one uh, key down event open. Now I'm just declaring in this place. What means I am first of all go to declaring that uh, one condition the if condition. Okay. So I am going to double uh, in this place. I am declaring um, he dot c this e. Okay. So that purpose I am declaring the he here. He dot key code dot he dot key code dot enter. Equal to equal keys dot enter. Okay, so now I'm declare this one and enter open bracket and then close bracket. Now I'm declaring in this place one label. Okay, so e dot key code double equal keys dot enter. Okay, now I'm declaring this in this if condition. Good. Okay, now I'm go to in this form one here having that one number for to counting. Okay, so the purpose I'm declaring here counting um, label. So I'm go to declare one counting label where I want to declare this means this time extract this uh, okay now and then also I'm go to extract this that I will be and then I move here ok now I am designed it in this place first I am go to ok now 
I am set in this place one label for to the concept so I am just copy one label from this tool table toolbox so I am go to select the label from here to this place this is the 20 label so in the in this 20 label I am go to select the font size also so the font size is important to known clarity uh, number ok so the clarity number you need and then find out is very easy for to get that number so the purpose I am declaring the 26 ok ok now I am setting the 20 and uh, now I am declaring this in place uh, defaultly declare the row number so whenever the row number you want to just time go to row number I so no problem for to that so just time go to that inception place so the purpose ends Next so I can we need space that purpose that purpose only I am go to um, this one editing here okay so I'm just extract okay now I'm set it now and then extract it and then also control C and then control D okay that declare in this place this is in label name I am erased ok so I am erased it control now 0 control s ok now I am going to uh, run it and then show it in this run mode even what happened so I am declaring a password for to this project and then login the beep sound available in this login button ok so then after only open I am already told the beep, beep sound also ok now I am click the view button that time also contain the beep sound already told to in before video then after the data will be received in this place ok ok now I am clicking this uh, this um, uh, data grid view row I am selected the time that uh, row number already declared ID but not uh, unique ok so how to set that even uh, how to get that unique number of this row ok so you are uh, when I select this row but you don't know ok now I am select this row this row which num after of uh, which number of after row you don't know okay so that purpose you want to uh, get that row number means just you are select there is uh, select this uh, data grid row means that time that row number get to this place okay so how to get that row so I am going to declare that row number in label and then I am go to visit and uh, in this Lab on this label okay so I how to get that so I am declaring this I select this 0 so this is the label number 21 okay this is label number 21 okay so I am go to the 21 label I first of all go to CSAF in this place I am declaring label label 21 
dot text equal data grid view grid view one dot selected rows selected rows zero dot index dot to string okay now set it control s in this place uh, i am going to run it okay now what happened so when uh, the key down event of the enter okay so when uh, clicking that row the time that uh, row index selected rows index number the two string to this label okay this label okay how to uh, do, okay now i'm going to run it now i'm go to 1 2 3 and then 1 2 3 and then login then data entry project okay there are bits and completed the data entry project opened so now i'm click this view button that time also bits on time now open and select the first row so this is the zero and then i'll so go to select second one see first time go to select this zero see that is the zero and then so enter given to this place now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so the number counted so this place okay so in this place the number counted go to um, also so to in this place zero one two one completed okay two completed three completed four completed five so that number i am counted in this place now i am selected 15th 13th 14th Fifteenth, and now I'm go to this zero. Now sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth. So like this, okay. Which number you want? That number you get in this place, okay. So you want to set that mouse click event means just to go to double click, close it, and now I'm select this key down event, okay. So you I'm go to now design page and then go to in this place. Most double click event. So I'm go to event. The most double click. Where is the most double click? This is key down event. We need not. Okay. So I'm go to most double click event. Most click. Okay. Most click event means double click this most click event. So just to copy this. Just to copy this. Control C. And then go to Control V. Control S. and just to remove this code control s now i'm go to run it now now i'm go to run it what happened just uh, run it i'm declaring here 1 2 3 and then also here declare 1 2 3 now login now open now i'm click view button so you get this uh, zero now i'm click 1 and 2 and 3 it's on zero okay so first i'm click the first uh, zero call zero row and then one row second row third row fourth row fifth row okay like this which one row you selected that one row you get that row number okay so directly i'm click this one okay so this is the 15th row this one 11th row this one 13th row okay so i am go to click when i clicking that uh, row number 0 1 2 3 okay so this is the row number get from like this okay so i am go to uh, show to you in this you want to know the message box okay so that purpose you can set the message box also to uh, number okay to so get the nine row index Number okay, so just uh, copy this code. Control S. 
control C sorry I am declaring here another one for the message box message box dot show here just copy that code control C and then declare in this place control S okay now I am going to run it it this all the, the row numbers get on the message box also so I am going to here 1 2 3 and then declare 1 2 3 now login now I view button click ok now I am select the 0 so that time 0 message came in this place and then here also 0 ok so I am selected 0 column ok sorry 0 rows ok 0 rows I am selected and then I am go to ok now I am selected first one not selected I am selected second one ok so I am second one selected this place also second this place also second so second row I am selected ok and then go to directly the last row what is the last row the 15th row so the 15th row available ok so this one also getting this message so in this message you are getting uh, 15th row and then also you are also getting the 15th ok I am go to select it ok and then I am go to click this 11th row the 11th 11th ok ok now I have told to you this concept ok friends I have told to you another concept in another video and then subscribe me and then if you have any doubt means just comment to me. Thank you. Bye friends.